going to stop it quickly and you can look inside and see. There you go, you have your butter. And you see the liquid separating. So what we're going to show you now, which is a really neat part of this, it's amazing actually how easy this is. What you do is you just get a little strainer and you take your bowl here and you kind of tip it into the strainer. This is called chas. Chas is amazing. It's very high in probiotics and it's considered so good for your digestion and it helps with the friendly bacteria in your gut. Another name that most of us know it by is buttermilk. This is true buttermilk and it's delicious. It can be eaten um, you know, like around lunchtime, anywhere early afternoon, it's very good and very tasty. And you can replace the chas for whenever there's, in a recipe it calls for yogurt or buttermilk, you can actually replace it with chas. I put it in cakes and it makes the cakes fabulous and fluffy. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, wash the chas you put approximately one cup of water and it's, you can see there's some ice cubes going in there, that's fine. One cup of cold, cold water. And what, we, what this does is it removes all the milk solids and you get more chas. So here we go. Now, again, we do the same procedure. There's some, there's some butter stuck on here, so I'm just going to help the chas go through. Actually, I can just pour it. It's just to prevent the butter from not going into the chas. So now, as you notice, the, we have to do this about two times. The more you do it, the butter, you can see, gets more color and it becomes more solid. So here we go again. Okay, let's start again, and we're going to wash it for the last time. You can blend it for, you know, less than a minute. It doesn't take very long. So here we go. This is now every time you'll notice the water became clear. It's becoming more clear. It's not as cloudy.